welcome to episode 70 of my FTB Let's Play University 1.16 series. Yes, I got all, I got some things to show you. Since the previous episode, we, uh, what did we make? Oh my gosh, I don't remember. What did we make? Oh yeah, we made the QIO drive. That's right. And now I have quite a bit of drives in here. I actually have several uh, tier 3 drives. The time dilating QA drive, which contain, can hold about a million items and uh, 1,024 types. So, I decided I'm going to have to get rid of this entire system. I want to I want to use the QIO system. I really like it because I've done some extra stuff here and there. Like, I've actually put a couple dashboards in some places. I put some in this base here. Also, totally random, I made armor stands. <laughs> I've always wanted to have armor stands in the base, and I never got to do it until now, so... Like, most of my armors are right here. But anyways, back to what I was just trying to say. Made a QIO dashboard over there. And also made some teleporters, too, because you're going to notice it in the mob spawning area. Let's see? Bam. Teleporter and a QIO dashboard here, too. So, also, even though it's not in the book, you can make a portable QIO dashboard, which I also did. It's fantastic. Now, the only disadvantage with the QIO dashboard compared to Applied Energistics is that it doesn't have a crafting... Oh, I lied. It does have a crafting station. It has two. It has three. Never mind. I just learned something new. Cool. I'm always learning something new. So, I have a teleporter here, and I also have a teleporter in the my main house now. Those two are connected while the other teleporter is connected to the energy area. I didn't know that in the teleporter you can actually just click on this and set the area that you want to go to. And it will teleport you. So that is nice. So I don't actually don't have to go from teleporter to teleporter anymore. Except for those two. Uh, is there anything exciting up here? No, nothing exciting up here. Not today. But uh, I also decided to... Uh, we're going to wait for a while until I get enough aluminum pellets to make uh, said, to make said uh, uh, super critical phase shifter. I definitely want to make this because I want to make antimatter pellets in order to get this baby right here, the super massive uh, QIO drive. It holds, I think, 16... At six, yeah, 16 million compared to this, which, and it also holds over 8,000 types. And if I can get a couple of those in the system right here, I could definitely put in all of my items from the drawers. And trust me, I have a ton of items, like, because I have like over 104k iron bars. It's insane how, how much iron I have now and whatnot. Uh, and then in the next goal, too, I definitely want to make this the nuclear synthesizer, which basically takes a lot of antimatter liquid and turns it into certain items. And one of those certain items is emeralds. I cannot find emeralds for the life of me anymore. At the beginning of the mod pack, I found tons of emeralds, and now I just can't find any. Um, I know I can go out and get a villager and whatnot, but I feel like I am this close to actually just going to get emeralds. The reason why I need emeralds now is mainly for the time dilating QIO, because you don't need much emeralds for many things. Um, so anyways, what else has happened? I think actually that's it. I think I caught you up on what I did offline. So, anywho, today we are actually going to go further into mechanism my pack, mechanism page, of course. I uh, only have a couple more items here and there. We are going to make the QIO IO and the QIO redstone adapter as well as um, the exporter. Because hot darn, I really want to get some of these items into the, to the dashboard. I know, I said in the past that I was going to keep this system, but I realized it's been too long. I, 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 want, I want this. I miss that. I really do. So, yeah. So let's get started. I should have all the items in my inventory to do so. So let's make the redstone adapter, which um, a QIO link redstone adapter used to monitor QIO system's contents. You just click on it, bam, and made it. 
put that away. Also put these away too. I don't really need those anymore. And then the QIO exporter. Bam. Made it. And then QIO importer. Now I always get those two words mixed up. Exporter, importer. I think it imports items. So let's see. D, QIO, which place on the block and imports its contents. To, oh yes. So it was right. So we're going to use the QIO importer. I've never used this before. So we're going to test it on this drawer here. If I just put that there, no frequency, let's put it on the main frequency, and it should export? Import without filter. Off, oh, okay. Oh, you can put some speed upgrades in this bad boy. Wow, you can put some speed upgrades. That's cool, but uh, I feel like it has to be on the bottom. And not not because yeah let's do it that way see if that works or without filter you might have to put a pipe underneath it because it's not recognizing it as an actual piping um, item so let's go into the QIO dashboard here uh what are the they're called um uh, logistical there it is okay doesn't really matter how it's work how it works so just put that there then put this here it should have connected no it did not connect holy cow uh -oh. so it doesn't work that way huh and of course I broke that Should have, I still have glass somewhere. Yep, there it is. I'll just fix this real quick. It bothers me. Okay. All right. See, now it's connected. The main frequency is on. New filter. Import without filter. On. Oh, there we go. You just have to press that button. Got it. See? And now it's importing the items. Rather quickly, actually. What's funny is that there's speed upgrades for this bad boy. Huh, there are speed upgrades. Let's <laughs> let's put some speed upgrades since it doesn't require power. Do I do I even have speed upgrades? I can bake some real quick. Oops. No, I do not. Alright, let's go make some upgrades rather quickly. Alright, all we need is some uh, glass. And sugar or osmium. I think it's osmium dust. I think I have some osmium dust. Yes, I do. Anything else could do? Okay. Cool. We'll make a couple of these. The max is eight anyway, so this is going to be really fast. Bam. All right, cool. So I could just take this off. Let's see how fast it goes now. Like, it's going to go really fast, I have this feeling. And it's already done. Holy cow. So I could take these two off now. So I'm probably going to do this off cam, but I just want to see how fast it would go, say, if I had over a little over 2,000. Holy cow. Wow, that was quick. That's good. I'm liking this. I am liking this. So can I actually import from the sides as well? Oh, where is it? Okay, there it is. Yes, I can. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> this is so much easier than uh, right-clicking. Oh, can't do that, but I can do it on this side. Nice. Get rid of these. I know this is a little weird, but I could definitely grab this item. I think go anywhere around the Minecraft world, and if there's a chest and it's filled with items, I can literally just pop that in there to the side, and we'll take them and put them into the uh, QIO dashboard. So that is actually really, really cool. Yeah. And then, of course, you have the exporter. 
which will pretty much do the opposite, put all the items into that. Now I have a question though. Did it take up a... Uh... No, not even close. No. So I'm definitely going to do this around here. It's going to be a hot minute. But uh, you'll soon see all of this empty. And all this extra room. Actually, I do have one more thing to tell you. I knew it, but uh, I went and made another dynamic tank for lithium. I have a feeling I'm going to need a lot more liquid lithium in the future. So I decided, eh, I'm going to make it. And then for the next episode, I'm going to make the mecha suit. I'm finally going to have a nice overpowered piece of armor set. So I'm pretty excited about it. But the hardest thing is that I have never made it before due to crazy updates and whatnot is the netherite helmet. I've never made this helmet. I have the smithing table. It's all ready, but never made this. Don't know how to get this. So I'm going to have to do some research on that for sure. But I will have this, and I will be powerful, and I will also make the mech modification system. So. And the mecha tool, of course. I will probably make all of this all in the future. Okay. Alright. We are almost finished with the mechanism page. Almost clearly finished. We still got to make a quintupling ore, and what else? There was one thing I completely just overstepped and miss yeah the gas burning generator which i'm gonna make it and it's gonna be used to fuel the farming my farming system and on top of making a tree system because i need i need wood so anyways thank you all for watching please like and subscribe i live stream on wednesdays and thursdays on twitch from 8 to 10 pst also i upload every friday so i hope everyone stays safe out there you Definitely need to all take a